Where would Bryce Young be set up for success? Presented by Nissan. In three years at Alabama, there's not much Bryce Young didn't accomplish. He won a Heisman Trophy. He was part of a national title team. And he did enough individually to merit consideration to go inside the top five of the NFL draft. And that's because from an NFL perspective, he checks a lot of boxes. He's got great pocket awareness, great pocket movement, great instincts, great toughness, great competitiveness. He's very, very accurate. He was a great leader at Alabama. He's a great student of the game. And if he was six foot three, 220 pounds, we wouldn't be having this discussion. He'd be the first overall pick. Problem is he's not six foot three, 220 pounds. He was listed at 194 at Alabama. He weighed 204 at the combine, didn't work out there, then came back for his pro day, worked out, but didn't weigh in. So there's a very natural question, what weight is he gonna be playing at in the NFL? And that's a concern because there's the question of how he'll hold up with a slighter frame at the pro level. There's also the question of his height. He's five foot ten. There's very few quarterbacks that are six foot one or under that aren't elite athletes that make it at the NFL level. But there are a couple of teams at the top of the draft that I think can make it work for him, and they just happen to be the two teams that are picking first and second. It's my dream to play in the NFL and, and to be able to be here. Whatever team I end up being taken by uh, is a blessing for me. In the case of the team that has the first overall pick, the Carolina Panthers, there's a new head coach who has an offense that's flexible enough to work for a lot of different types of quarterbacks. And we've seen that in both Philadelphia and Indianapolis with guys like Nick Foles, Carson Wentz, Phillip Rivers, Andrew Luck, Jacoby Brissett. He's made the offense work for whoever's back there. And that makes me think that Bryce Young could fit in Frank Reich's offense and he would find ways to protect him and mitigate the disadvantage that his height might create. As for the Houston Texans, with D'Amico Ryans coming in and bringing Bobby Slowick with him from San Francisco, they will be running a Shanahan type of scheme. This one could work for him too. There's a lot of movement in that scheme. There's a lot of different ways in that scheme to create throwing lanes for shorter quarterbacks. And if you look at the rookie that succeeded in San Francisco last year and Brock Purdy, he's not a giant, six foot one, 212 pounds. So my belief is both teams that are drafting at the top, both Houston and Carolina, would be pretty good fits for Bryce Young.